as I am a new convert to Catholicism. There you go. And see, people get Catholicism misconstrued with Christianity. Do your research, do your history. Catholicism came to disrupt the Christian faith. So he is not converting to Christianity. Despite wearing stylish sunglasses on stage, the tears streaming down his face were visible to the thousands of fans around the world who watched him closely via live stream. In his message, Daddy Yankee cited this Bible verse in Spanish. What good will it be for a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? That is why tonight I recognize and I am not ashamed to tell the whole world that Jesus lives in me and that I will live for him. Shout out to Daddy Yankee. Um, like we just saw, actor Rob, is he converted to Catholicism. He is not Christian, okay? All we can do is pray him through because him being on his walk is going to be interesting, very hard to go from having all that money and all that fame. But not for nothing, we lift him up. I'm a brand new creature because the only the I'm new. I'm new. All right, welcome back, you guys. Um, tis the season, okay, for Jesus being the reason, okay? Bars, all right. I just wanted to um, talk about two newly converted or converts, if you will. I'm kind of iffy on one of them. They, they were low-key saying that he converted to um, Catholicism. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. Um, let's get into it, okay? So, so over the weekend, um, actor Rob Steiner, he made this particular post, right? And if you don't know who he is, this is actor Rob, okay? He's been in a lot of different movies. Um, you can just look him up. I, you know, it, it, it. It, I, I lost it lost me but not for nothing this is the post that he posts okay I want I want thank all of the lovely people for their kind birthday wishes for me today on my 60th birthday I am the luckiest man in the world I have a wonderful partner in life my beautiful wife Patricia and three lovely daughters Ellie Miranda and Madeline Today, I am reminded of what Dr. M. Scott Peck told me over 30 years ago at 40. You feel like you can conquer the world and there's a sense that nothing can stop you. But at 60, you realize the very real fragility of life and temporariness of it all. A humbling knowledge that there is indeed a time limit for all things, and that's God's design, though though perfect, is precious far beyond its variety. Today, I am also reminded of the Hindu story that my friend Bill from Lowell, Arkansas, told me about a man at his funeral. Looking at the man, with this man lying here ask for more riches and gold from the world with this man asked to be more famous and well regarded by others would he ask to be taller or look more handsome no the only thing this man lying here today would ask for was much simpler more time if you are reading this now, then you too have time. Use it wisely, use it unwisely too, but use it. Be in it, be aware that you are part of all of it and that the separatedness you sometimes feel is an illusion. Just as your heart beats without being told, you are as integral to the sun that fires and the planets that circle it as your heart is a, is a part of you. For the atheist, God loves you too. The mistake you make is to think the universe is a stupid thing that just bumps into things and expands ignorantly and without reason or intelligence. And that somehow we human beings with our intelligence is just some kind of freak universal accident to you i say this 
if there is such a thing that has kindness, empathy, compassion, and love, it is because you found it in other people. And as my dear friend Norm MacDonald once said, we are a part of this universe indeed, a mere fraction of it. So if we have kindness and love, how much more the universe itself? For if we are capable of love, it is because it is academic to the universe itself. To quote Alan Watts, for we didn't come in to the world, we came out of it. We are the universe evolving to the point of consciousness so that the universe, us, can experience existence and life in all its wonder and beauty and glorious exuberance. I don't agree with that, child. It sounds like some hebo jibo stuff, okay? <clears throat> Lastly, as I am a new convert to Catholicism, there it go. And see, the thing is, is that people get Catholicism misconstrued with Christianity. Do your research, do your history. Catholicism came to disrupt the Christian faith. So he is not converting to Christianity. Anyways, I offer my apology for my lack of Christ. Christ's forgiveness to my fellow man. I was so angry at the people who shut down schools and indeed the world and who coerce others to do things against their will, which hurt many people deeply. I offer my unconditional forgiveness and honesty for how how can I stay mad at the famous singer who would not let others in to his Broadway show unless they had an experiential jab? I will never forget how kind he was to me and my friends when he was the musical guest on SNL. How can I continue to hold a grudge against the actor who shamed people like me, but has been such a great example for other actors to never give up and keep fighting for their dreams? How can I still be mad at the lovely, at the lovely actress that said she could no longer be friends with people like me who didn't get it? Knowing how incredibly kind she is, with every child she meets. I am humbled by example of my mother, Pilar, Pilar, and how she was able to forgive the World War II occupiers of her Philippines who killed both her brothers. Mm. At last, it is forgiveness itself that is the gift that we give ourselves because it frees us as the Christ intends for all of us to be free for his gift of ultimate and unlimited forgiveness is indeed the gift for all humanity may god bless you and your families now and forever with all my with all my you can do it love robbie shiner now as we see he clearly has converted to catholicism and it's not the same Okay, they are not, we are not the same. Okay, Catholicism is not the same as Christianity. I don't care how you want to flip it and reverse it. I don't care how you want to say it. Okay, but let's go to somebody who clearly says who they have transitioned over and who they are believing in. And that is um, Daddy Yankee. Okay, I muted for copyright reasons. But um, and plus he was saying it in um his um in in Spanish and I you know I'm not Spanish so but I'm gonna read an article that basically states what um he was pretty much uh saying um on here okay let so me um particular article is from NBC News and states uh, despite wearing stylish sunglasses on stage the tears streaming down his face were visible to the thousands of fans around the world who watched him closely via live stream. In his message, Daddy Yankee uh, cited this Bible verse in Spanish. What, would, what good 
will it be for a man to gain the world the whole world yet forfeit his soul that is why tonight i recognize and i am not ashamed to tell the whole world that jesus lives in me and that i will live for him the singer said with his hand to the sky daddy yankee announced he would embark on a new beginning as ramon ayala his birth name hopefully i didn't, i know i probably butchered that he goes on to say all the tools that i have in my possession such as music social networks platforms and microphone everything that jesus gave me is now for his kingdom he said thank you very much puerto rico and i hope that you walk with me in this new beginning to all the people who followed me follow christ, follow jesus christ who is the way the truth and the life he added just like jesus with his mercy allowed me to travel the world in your in your mercy father i hope you allow me to evangelize the world from puerto rico amen so you guys just heard this like i said this is in spanish i ain't spanish you know my husband know a little bit <laughs> but i myself firstly um no poquito myself okay but shout out to daddy yankee um like we just saw actor rob is he converted to catholicism he is not christian okay but daddy yankee has and kudos to him and all we can do is pray him through because him being on his walk is going to be uh very interesting very hard to go from having all that money and all that fame it's gonna be hard but not for nothing we lift him up you know that is the video tell me what you guys think um in the comments down below and i'll see you guys on the next reactional video hey winnie d here now if you like this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button make sure you click the subscribe button if you have not done so already and make sure you click that notification bell move it for personal life all so you can receive all the updates that i place here on the channel you can get all the notifications okay and make sure you connect with me on facebook TikTok and Instagram. Well, all right, you guys. I love you, but most of all, God loves you. Until next time. I'm a brand new creature because the army done that. I'm new. Yeah, I'm new.